Three years ago, a faint speck tore through the darkness, racing at 130,000 miles per hour from the void between stars. It wasn't just another comet or asteroid. It was 3i slash Atlas, the third confirmed interstellar object to visit our solar system, and it carried a secret that's still shaking the foundations of astronomy. Harvard's Avi Loeb, a name you might recognize from the Oumuamua debates, called it a cosmic anomaly. Spectral data from NASA and the European Southern Observatory revealed something impossible. A flood of nickel vapor with no trace of iron. A chemical signature that defies everything we know about comets. Then, the James Webb Space Telescope doubled down, detecting a carbon dioxide to water ratio so extreme it rewrote the record books. Is this a freak of nature forged in the violent heart of a dying star or something more? A message encoded in metal sent from another world? Stick with me as we unravel the mystery of 3i slash Atlas, a visitor that might just change how we see our place in the universe. If that hooks you, hit that like button and subscribe for more cosmic mysteries. Let's start with the moment 3i slash Atlas burst onto the scene. On July 1st, 2025, the Atlas survey team in Chile spotted a faint, fast-moving dot against the starry backdrop. At first, it seemed like another comet, but the math told a different story. Its orbit wasn't elliptical, looping back to the sun like every local comet. It was hyperbolic, with an eccentricity of 6.141 comma, meaning it was moving too fast for our sun to ever hold on to it. This wasn't a solar system native. It was an interstellar traveler born far beyond our planets, likely near the galactic center. By the time astronomers confirmed it, 3i slash Atlas was already inside Jupiter's orbit, screaming toward a one-time slingshot around the sun before vanishing back into the cosmic deep end. Its speed, 58 kilometers per second relative to the sun, put it in a league of its own, faster than almost anything we've ever tracked. To put that in perspective, it could cross the distance from New York to Los Angeles in under a minute. This wasn't just a rock. It was a messenger from another star and its chemistry was about to blow our minds. The first clue came when the Very Large Telescope in Chile turned its spectrograph on 3i slash Atlas. As it crossed Jupiter's orbit, the object's coma, the glowing cloud of gas and dust around it, lit up with strong nickel lines. By late August, the VLT measured 4.6 grams of nickel vapor streaming off every second. That's not unusual on its own. Comets often release metals as they heat up near the sun, but here's the kicker. There was no iron. Zero. In every meteorite, asteroid, or comet we've ever studied, nickel and iron are like cosmic twins, forged together in the hearts of dying stars, and released 9,930 side by side. The nickel to iron ratio in solar system comets hovers around 115. In 3i Atlas, iron was simply absent, pushing that ratio off the charts. Harvard's A.V. Loeb didn't mince words. He called it a chemical fingerprint that doesn't match anything in our cosmic playbook. Imagine finding a gold ring with no trace of copper or silver. Impossible by natural standards. In a lab, separating nickel from iron takes industrial precision. In space, it's unheard of. So, what's going on? Is this a natural process we've never seen? Or could it be a sign of something engineered? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I want to hear what you think. The James Webb Space Telescope added fuel to the fire. Its infrared spectroscopy, the most sensitive ever aimed at an interstellar object, revealed a volatile mix dominated by carbon dioxide. The numbers were staggering, a carbon dioxide to water ratio of 8. One, the highest ever recorded for any comet, local or interstellar. Typical solar system comets have about 4% carbon dioxide in their mix. For 3i slash Atlas, it's the main ingredient with production rates hitting 129 kilograms of carbon dioxide per second compared to just 16.6 kilograms of water vapor. Carbon monoxide and carbonyl sulfide were present too, but nothing came close to that CO2 spike. These readings held steady across multiple JWST sessions as the object neared the sun. This isn't just a quirk, it's a chemical profile that challenges everything we know about comet formation. Some researchers suggest this could be the result of a billion-year journey through interstellar space, where cosmic rays cooked the object's surface into a CO2-heavy shell. Others wonder if it points to a completely different formation process in its home star system. 
What do you think? Nature pushing the limits or something more deliberate? Let me know below. The Oumuamua mystery set the stage for 3 I slash Atlas, but this new visitor brought even stranger clues. Let's talk about the metals first. Long before modern telescopes, ancient cultures knew some metals fell from the sky. In Egypt, 5,000 years ago, iron beads from the Gerze Cemetery contained 30% nickel, far higher than Earth's ores. King Tutankhamun's tomb held a dagger with 11% nickel and a crystalline structure only formed in space. These meteoritic alloys, with high nickel and traces of cobalt or germanium, were so rare they were worth more than gold. The Egyptians called it iron of the sky. Across Bronze Age cultures from Turkey to China, similar high nickel artifacts appear, all carrying the same cosmic signature. Today, we identify meteoritic iron by its nickel content and unique crystalline patterns like Widmanstetten structures formed over millions of years in space. 3i slash Atlas's nickel-heavy, iron-free profile echoes these ancient sky metals, but takes it to an extreme. Could it be a natural outlier, or is it closer to the crafted alloys of a distant civilization? The ancients saw these metals as divine. Maybe they were onto something. Now, let's explore the natural explanations. The universe has ways of forging strange alloys. Kilinovi, collisions of neutron stars, are among the most violent events out there. In 2017, the gravitational wave event GW170817, detected by LIGO and Virgo, lit up with an optical flash. Telescopes like the VLT spotted strontium, a heavy element formed in the rapid neutron capture process, or R process which builds atoms heavier than iron in seconds. Nickel is one of those elements, and kilonovi can produce it in skewed ratios, sometimes with little iron. The debris from these explosions scatters across the galaxy, cooling into dust grains over eons. If 3i slash Atlas formed from such a patch, its nickel-heavy chemistry could be the natural result of a cosmic forge. The CO2 dominance might fit too, Cosmic rays bombarding the object for billions of years could build volatile coatings that vaporize near a star. It's a spectacular but plausible story. A Kalanova could explain the metals without needing an alien engineer. But the ratios are so extreme it would have to be a rare fragment from the heart of the blast. What's your take? Cosmic coincidence or something more? Share below. There's another natural possibility. Asymmetric supernovae. Not all stars die neatly. Some explode in lopsided blasts, separating elements in chaotic ways. The supernova remnant W49b, studied by the Chandra and New Star telescopes, shows iron clumped in the core while nickel jets shoot outward. These jets can carry nearly pure nickel hundreds of light years away, leaving iron behind. Simulations confirm that uneven core collapses create directional flows, sorting elements into distinct pockets. If 3i slash Atlas condensed from a nickel-rich plume, it could explain the missing iron. The CO2 spike might be a secondary effect, built up over eons of cosmic ray exposure. This isn't speculation. X-ray maps of W49b show these elemental splits in real time. Nature can craft wild alloys without intent, but catching such a fragment in our solar system is like finding a needle in a cosmic haystack. Two natural forges, kilonovae and supernovae, could account for 3i slash Atlas's chemistry, but the odds are slim, and the mystery only deepens. This brings us to a wild but grounded possibility. Could 3i slash Atlas be a time capsule? In 1977, NASA's Voyager probes carried golden records, copper discs etched with music, greetings, and diagrams meant to outlast Earth itself. Carl Sagan called them a message in a bottle, a snapshot of humanity for anyone who finds it. What if 3i slash Atlas is something similar, not a probe, but a physical archive? Its nickel-heavy alloys, extreme CO2 ratio, and precise orbit could be deliberate, encoding information in the language of matter. On Earth, we use isotopic ratios to trace nuclear materials or store data in DNA's chemical bases. A civilization with advanced tech could craft alloys with specific isotope patterns, like an atomic QR code, durable for billions of years. The nickel's isotopic mix is now under scrutiny. If it shows unnatural ratios, it could be a signal, not an accident. Imagine a message not in radio waves, but in the atoms themselves waiting for us to decode it.
That idea is not just sci-fi, it's rooted in what we've already done with Voyager. So, where does this leave us? 3 I slash Atlas is a puzzle with stakes bigger than one object. It's nickel without iron signature, record-breaking CO2 ratio, and improbable orbit challenge our understanding of the universe. Natural explanations like kilonovae or asymmetric supernovae could account for the chemistry, but they stretch the limits of what's likely. The trajectory's precision raises questions no one can dismiss. If it's natural, we're seeing the galaxy's wildest chemistry in action. If it's engineered, it's a clue we're not alone, sent in the form of matter itself. Every new observation, from the VLT's nickel lines to JWST's CO2 spikes, adds a piece to the puzzle. As of September 2025, no lab has replicated 3 i atlases exact alloy composition, and the debate rages on. This isn't just about a comet, it's about whether the universe is sending us a message, written not in light but in the atoms of a visitor from another star. The search for answers is just beginning. If you want to stay on this cosmic journey, subscribe, like, and share your thoughts below. What do you think 3 i atlas is? A natural wonder or a galactic calling card? Let's keep exploring the universe together!